Hello and welcome to the Winning Post. I'm Mohit Lalwani to bring you all the horse racing action from India and the rest of the world. We'll start with the rest of the world because Dr. Cyrus Punawala had, well, his multiple Group 1 winner, Gordon Lord Byron, head across to France over to Deauville, well, to take another crack at another Group 1 race. The Prix Maurice de Geest is a six furlong Group 1 race run at Deauville at the end of the French summer each year. And the pre race entries for the 2015 revival included the Dr. Cyrus Punawala owned Gordon Lord Byron. A multiple Group 1 winner, Gordon Lord Byron, while getting up in age, is amongst the best sprinters in the world, and he proved this last year when he won the Group 1 Champion Sprint on Champions Day at Ascot. Gordon Lord Byron and then out very wide gathering power into Bar and uh, on the rail Jack Dexter Tropics is coming home very strongly storming home between them Tropics and Eaton forever out wide inside the final furlong it's Tropics and Jack Dexter these two battling on Tropics just ahead Gordon Lord Byron is charging through a gap and will nail them all Gordon Lord Byron where did he come from and he's one going away while finding ground which was too fast at Royal Ascot this year, Deauville offered much more suitable conditions even as the Globetrotter took on a strong field of sprinters which included the Hamdam al Maktoum owned Muharrar and Esoteric. In fact, in five Group 1 races at Deauville, Gordon Lord Byron has never been out of the first three and travelled well right out of the gates. And racing for the Group 1 Prix Maurice de Geest over 1300 metres. Well, towards the far side, Robert Le Diable is showing a bit of toe. Watchable is with that one. Right on the near side is Fontaine Lise. Nuzo Canarias is showing speed on the near side. The favourite to Muharar has settled into a nice fourth position, just tracking that one, Iverwood and also Esoteric, as you'd expect. Gordon Lord Byron on the outside of those. On the far outside, the striped sleeves of Coolsty. So down through the first 400 metres, and Nuzo Canarias has the lead to Fontaine Lise, the striped jacket in second. Third horse is just about Muhara. On the outside is Watchable. Wide outside, Coolsty. Gordon Lord Byron. Gamath tracks those. Sonsesio is further back down the field. Gordon Lord Byron is uh, trying to make a bit of ground now on the outside of Watchable. And now Muhara is sent through. Look at Esoteric just cantering behind that one. Iverwood's found some traffic problems as they come down to the 300. Esoteric now moving through with Muhara. Muhara hasn't picked up yet. Gordon Lord Byron over on the far side. Watchable between horses. Esoteric near side. Now Muhara is getting the upper hand. It's Muhara under a Hannigan drive from Esoteric and Gordon Lord Byron. Muhara, it's a three-time Group 1 winner for... Charlie Hills, Muhara wins the Prix Maurice de Geest. With just two and a half lengths separating the winner from Gordon Lord Byron, his trainer Tom Hogan could not have been more pleased with the form of his galloper and mentioned that he would like to take a crack at the foray over a furlong more. His options also include the Hedark Sprint Cup, which many consider to be Gordon Lord Byron's best Group 1 victory and performance ever when he won it last year. Well, and as an older horse, he really did distinguish himself. We'll take a short break on that note. Come right back. Don't go anywhere.